here at San Diego Union Tribune.com is an article entitled Stolen Tank Plowed Through Streets in 1995. This is written by Matthew T. Hall. And Mr. Hall begins, thanks to the bravery of the San Diego police and the California Highway Patrol, no citizens are harmed. This video, ending with that comment, captures the devastation wrought on San Diego streets 20 years ago on a Sunday when a man stole a tank from a National Guard armory in Kearney, Mesa, and plowed through vehicles and fire hydrants and tore up trees and lawns during a 25-minute rampage. It was unlike any other police chase in San Diego history. The man who stole the tank, plumber Sean Nelson, eventually crashed it into a freeway divider. Police officers hastily climbed on top of it, and one fatally shot Nelson when he refused to emerge and give himself up. The stolen tank was an M60A3, 31 feet long, and capable of speeds up to 30 miles an hour, and weighing 57 tons, when fully loaded for combat. It carried a 105 millimeter machine gun, and for years it was NATO's main battle tank in the Cold War standoff against Warsaw Pact forces according to newspaper reports from the day of the rampage. And those are our highest authority, of course. Excuse me. 18 months later, the event was still engineering headlines in the San Diego Union Tribune. One story outlined what had transpired since that jaw-dropping day. The state of California paid $149,000 to cover property damage along Nelson's route. It moved military tanks out of all National Guard armories statewide, relocating them to Camp Roberts in San Luis Obispo and Fort Irwin in Barstow. The Army National Guard also elevated, evaluated, sorry, also, it is elevated. It was evaluated. The Army National Guard also evaluated security at all state armories, resulting in changes of procedure and heightened awareness and elevation of their security. The National Guard was considered negligent, so the state eventually paid the damage claims of 28 individuals, companies, and the city, according to public documents. The payout includes $10,000 for Pacific Bell, and we're not gonna do the rest here. A lot was paid to citizens, mostly for damage to motor vehicles. The passage of time and the fact that no bystanders were injured has allowed people to joke about a stunning day in San Diego's history. Each year at this time, people remember or relive that wild day. And what is that time they're talking about? May 17th, so coming up on the anniversary here. May 17th, 2011. In 2011, on Twitter, People made light and shared their impressions, reacting quickly to a post that noted what had happened 16 years ago. So, not 2011. Echo Juliet 5 says, one of the most amusing videos in San Diego history. David Vidosik wrote, if it was raining that day, it might explain his terrible driving skills. Please share your own memories of that day below implores the author. I think we have another story here too as well. This is from a to z wiki.com. And the anonymous author writes, the 1995 San Diego tank rampage was the theft of an, of an M60A3 tank by a local man, Sean Timothy Nelson and his destruction of cars and utilities therewith in suburban San Diego. Nelson was a native Californian and a United States Army veteran with unusual habits that drew the attention of his neighbors. In late spring of 95, the 35-year-old had recently suffered financial, professional, and interpersonal setbacks. Wow, that's a triple whammy. Some of which stemmed from long-term substance abuse. 
On May 17th, he stole a 57-ton tank from the local California Army National Guard Armory and drove it for around six miles, or 10 kilometers. Crushing cars and infrastructure in his path, though without injuring a single soul. After the tank crashed and was partially disabled, San Diego police forced it open before shooting and killing Nelson. Nelson's motives are unknown, though they have been speculated upon. The incident raises questions about military security at the Guard Armory and spurred changes in California's storage of their tanks. It says here that John Nelson was born in 1959 in California. In 78, he enlisted in the U.S. Army. He was stationed in Germany with the Armour Branch as a tank commander. He separated in 1980 due to disciplinary problems with an honorable discharge. Afterwards, he began his successful career in plumbing. A patient at Sharp Memorial Hospital in 1990, Nelson later sued the hospital over a fight involving an emergency room security guard. Nelson sued them again in 1992 for malpractice, the same year his mother died there. Both lawsuits were dismissed in 1993. Nelson's brother would say later that Sean Nelson thought he got a raw deal there. In Claremont, Nelson was a minor celebrity for his unusual behavior. He spent nighttime hours mowing his lawn and digging for gold in a 20-foot backyard pit. His property was covered in machine pieces and garbage. And police had visited nine times between 90, 94 and 95 on calls ranging from reports of domestic violence to a complaint that Nelson's van had been stolen. He was renowned, but not well known by his neighbors, evidently. 